and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's specialist subjects are the history of an ancient Greek city-state, a decade of chart hits, the Prime Minister who claimed he had secured peace for our time, and the writer who created Narnia. Our four contenders get two minutes for those subjects and two and a half minutes for their general knowledge round, and all in the unrelenting glare of the spotlight, as always. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name is Nick Henderson. Your occupation? I'm a niche art consultant. And your chosen subject? My chosen subject are the top 40 hits of the 1970s. Right, in two minutes starting now. Which record label founded by Mickey Most had 70s hits with acts such as Mud, Susie Quattro, and Hot Chocolate? Rack. Yep. Which American New Wave band's second UK top 20 hit was just what I needed in March 1979? Pass. Which Hawkwind single was released after the hit Silver Machine but only reached number 39 in the UK charts before it was withdrawn from sale by United Artists in 1973? Pass. Which Straub's single released in early 73 at a time of industrial unrest was criticised as harmful by the Conservative MP Harold Sorriff? You won't get me, I'm part of the union. Part of the union. Which Pretenders song reached number 33 in July 79, five months after the band's first UK chart success with the cover of the Kinks' Stop Your Sobbing? Kid. Yep. What is the name of the former soft machine singer who had a top ten hit with I'm a Believer, which entered the top 30 in October 1974? Pass. My Sharona was a number six UK hit in July 79 for which Los Angeles band? The Knack. Yep. What group reached number two in October 77 with their disco version of the song Black is Black? It was their only UK hit. Uh, La Belle Epoque. Yep. Which Birmingham rock band's only UK top ten single was Standing in the Road in September 72? The follow-up, Sing Don't Speak, only just scraped into the top 40 early the following year. Medicine Head. Blackfoot Sue. What single gave Medicine Head their biggest UK chart success when it reached number three in June 1973? Two and two. One and one is one. <laughs> in which American city were the vocal group The Stylistics form? The band had 16 UK top 40 single hits in the 1970s. Philadelphia. Yes. Which punk group 78 single, What Do I Get?, had a slightly delayed release date because the B-side was deemed to have an offensive title. X-ray specs. Buzzcocks. What was the nationality of the group Pussycat, whose biggest UK chart success was with the single Mississippi in 1976? They were Spanish. They were Dutch. Paul McCartney's band Wings had two songs banned from BBC Radio Airplay in the early 1970s. Give Ireland Back to the Irish was one. What was the other? Uh, high, high, high. Yes, it was. And uh, your time's up. You had three passes. Robert Wyatt, that was the name of the former soft machine singer. Urban Gorilla was the Hawkwind single. And the cars were responsible for that UK top 20 hit, Just What I Needed. You have, Nick, seven points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Derek French. Your occupation? I'm a solicitor. And your chosen subject? A life and times of Neville Chamberlain. The Prime Minister for three turbulent years, of course, between 1937 and 1940. Two minutes on him, starting now. In November 1915, Chamberlain was inaugurated in what public office? Lord Mayor of Birmingham. Yep. Where in Bavaria did he meet Hitler for the first time on the 15th of September 1938? Later that month, they met again at Godesburg and Munich. Uh, Bechter's Garden. Bechter's Garden. At which aerodrome did Chamberlain land when he returned from Munich at the end of September 1938? He then went to Downing Street and made a speech that referred to peace for our time. Heston. Yes. What did Chamberlain describe as a surprise of a very unpleasant character in a speech to the Commons on the 24th of August 1939? Uh, the invasion of Czechoslovakia. The Nazi-Soviet non-aggression pact. For which Birmingham constituency was he elected to Parliament as MP in December 1918? Ladywood. Yes. In 1923, who rejected Stanley Baldwin's invitation to become Chancellor of the Exchequer? The post was then accepted by Chamberlain, who'd only entered the Commons four years earlier. 
Churchill? Uh, McKenna. In the 1890s, he spent five years overseeing a sisal plantation on an island in the Bahamas. Which island? Andros. Yep. Of what government department was Chamberlain appointed as Director General by Lloyd George in December 1916? National Service. Yes. What was the name of the Italian ambassador who met Chamberlain and Anthony Eden in February 1938? He described them as resembling two cocks in true fighting posture. Pass. Which future Prime Minister served as Chamberlain's Parliamentary Private Secretary and travelled to the Munich Conference with him in 1938? Alec Duxley's home. Yes. Who telephoned him from Bournemouth on the afternoon of the 10th of May 1940 to confirm that Labour would not serve in his government? Chamberlain submitted his resignation to the King later the same day. Clemens Attlee. Yep. Chamberlain died after a short illness on the 9th of November 1940, only six months after he'd resigned as Prime Minister. Where did his memorial service take place a few days later? Westminster Abbey. Yes. Which member of Chamberlain Chamberlain's family had acted as an unofficial intermediary between him and Mussolini during the winter of 1937-38. His sister? His sister-in-law, Ivy. Which member of the British government travelled to Germany in a personal capacity in 1937 and met Hitler with Chamberlain's blessing? Lord Halifax. It was indeed Lord Halifax. One past Derek. Count Dino Grandi was the name of the Italian ambassador who met him and Eden in February 1938. You have scored... Ten points. Thank you. <laughs> and our third contender, please. And your name is? Paula Keaveney. Your occupation? A university lecturer. And your chosen subject? The history of Sparta. The ancient Greek city-state founded in the 9th century BC, Sparta. In two minutes, starting now. The city of Sparta lay in the valley of which river? The Eurotas. Yes. What was the name of the Spartan martial poet of the mid-7th century BC who wrote verses exhorting the Spartans to fight bravely in the Second Messenian War? Tartarus. Yes. According to Xenophon, the news of their disastrous defeat at Leuctra in 371 BC reached the Spartans on the last day of a religious festival. Which festival was it? Carnea. No, Gymnopediae. What is the Greek name for the rigorous system of education and training to which male Spartan citizens were subjected? The Agoge. Yes. In 494 BC, the Spartans and uh, Cleomenes defeated Argos in which battle? Uh, pass. What was the name of Alexander the Great's general whose forces defeated the Spartans in around 331 and killed King Aegis III? Pass. The early 4th century BC treaty between the Greeks and Persians is known as the King's Peace or the Peace of... Which Spartan statesman? Antalcidas. Yes. The Agiad was one of two royal houses in Sparta's dual kingship. What was the name of the other? Euripontid. Yes. The regent Pausanias, who had commanded the Greek army that defeated the Persians at Plataea, was walled up and left to starve in which temple? Poseidon. The Athena of the Brazen House. When Alexander the Great asked to be accorded divine honours, the Spartan response was a decree stating what? Pass. What was the name of the exiled Athenian politician and military commander who took refuge in Sparta during the latter stages of the Peloponnesian War and allegedly seduced the wife of King Aegis II? <laughs> Alcibiades. Yes. Which Spartan king was declared illegitimate and deposed in 491 BC? He later became an advisor to Xerxes, the king of Persia. Demaratus. Yes. At what naval battle of 405 BC did the Spartans and Lysander inflict a decisive defeat on the Athenians? Aegis Potami. Yes. What was the name of the city in Laconia that was the Spartans' main port and naval base? Gynium. No, Githium. What was the name of the Persian governor who was executed soon after the Spartan army, commanded by Agassilaus, defeated the Persians near Sardis in 395 BC? Tissaphernes. Yes. You have three passes. When Alexander asked to be accorded divine honours, the Spartans replied, let him be a god. Of course. <laughs> the name of uh, Alexander the Great's general was Antipater, or Antipater. And uh, the Spartans and uh, Cleomenes defeated Argos in the Battle of Sapea. Three passes, Paula. You have nine points. And our final contender, please.
name is? Judith Lewis. Your occupation? Psychiatrist. And your chosen subject? The life of C.S. Lewis. The man who created the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe in two minutes. Which of the Narnia books was completed last but is the first chronologically as a prequel to The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? The Magician's Nephew. Yep. With which regiment did Lewis serve during the First World War? Third Somerset Light Infantry. Yes. In which language did he and his friend, the Italian priest Don Giovanni Calabria, correspond because neither spoke each other's language? Latin. Yes. What is the title of the first novel in Lewis's Ransom trilogy of science fiction books, first published in 1938? Out of the Silent Planet. Yep. What was the name of the study group founded at Oxford University by J.R.R. Tolkien that Lewis joined? Its members shared an appreciation of Old Norse and its literature. The Colbatar. Yes. What's the title of the volume of war poetry Lewis published in 1919 under the pseudonym Clive Hamilton? Spirits in Bondage. Yes. By what affectionate nickname did the young Lewis refer to the private tutor and mentor William T. Kirkpatrick, whom he studied with after he left Malvern College? The Great Knock. It was. Who was the young Catholic philosopher who strongly criticised Lewis over his critique of naturalism at a meeting of the Oxford University Socratic Club in February 1948? Elizabeth Anscombe. Yes. In which Welsh university town did Lewis deliver the Ballard Lectures in 1941? The text was to form the basis of his preface to Paradise Lost. Bangor. Yes. What is the name of the Oxford pub where Lewis and the literary group known as the Inklings met, usually in the Rabbit Room? The Eagle and Child. Yes. In which of Lewis's space trilogy novels does Elwyn Ransom eventually succeed in killing Professor Weston by hurling a rock at him? Perilandra. Yeah. Who was the BBC's director of religious broadcasting who invited Lewis to deliver a series of talks on the radio during the Second World War? Eric Fenn. James Welsh. What is the title of the book published in 1952 that was largely based on wartime broadcasts? Mere Christianity. Yep. Which of the four children who feature in the early Narnia books doesn't appear in The Last Battle because she was a jolly sight too keen on being grown up? Susan. Yes. Whose rejection of the Chair of English at Magdalen College enabled Lewis to accept the post even though he had originally refused it? Helen Gardner. Indeed it was. No passes, Judith. You've scored 14 points. <laughs> and now let us invite all our contenders back into the studio for the first time together. General Lawrence round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And the contenders don't know, remember, what each other have scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And, as always, we start with the contender with the lower score, Nick. And it can now be disclosed that... Uh, you start this round with seven points and you've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge to leap ahead. Here we go. What is the motto of the SAS, the Special Air Squadron? Who dares win? Yes, in medieval times, palfrey was a name used for a small, docile type of what animal? Cat. Horse. Which South American country was known as Dutch Guiana before it gained its independence in 1975? Suriname. Yes. Of which country was Imre Nodge the Prime Minister from 1953 to 55? He returned to the post briefly in 56 and was executed in 58 for his part in his country's uprising against the Soviet Union. Uh, Hungary. Yes. What name did Vorjak give to his Ninth Symphony written in 1893 when he was in America? The New World. Yes. Harry S. Truman had a sign on his desk that said, what stops here? The buck. Yes. In which country was the monument the dog on the tucker box unveiled in 1932 as a tribute to the country's pioneers? Australia. Yes. What caged bird in William Blake's poem, Auguries of Innocence, puts all heaven in a rage? Nightingale. The robin, the red breast. Which planet was once thought to have canals that were later proved to be caused by the chance alignment of surface features? Mars. Yes. What is the name of the pipe-smoking Parisian detective created by the Belgian-born author Georges Simenon? Migre. Yep. Which town in Merseyside is renowned for its glass-making and has a museum called the World of Glass? Pass. 
The footballer Maradona claimed that his infamous goal against England in the 86 World Cup was scored a little with the head of Maradona and a little with... The hand of God. Yes, the Italian pasta conchiglie takes its name from its shape. What does the word mean in English? Shell. Yes, the works of which British film and theatre director include This Sporting Life, If and Oh Lucky Man? Anderson. Yes, Lindsay Anderson. What word for a secret dungeon whose only entrance is through a trap door in its ceiling comes from the French for to forget? Oublier. Yes. Who presented Animal Magic, a children's television series that looked at the world of animals for 21 years from 1962 to 1983? Johnny Morris. Yep. The Tupolev 144 was the first supersonic passenger airliner to exceed Mach 2. In which country was it designed? Soviet Union. Yes. Under what professional name did the singer and songwriter Alicia Argello Cook top the UK album charts for the first time in 2010 with the element of freedom? Alicia Keys. Yes. Which suspension bridge in California held the world record for the longest main span for 27 years from its opening in 1937 until 1964 when the Verrazano Narrows Bridge superseded it? Golden Gate. Yes. Who became Henry VIII's third wife just 11 days after the execution of Anne Boleyn? Anne of Cleves. James Seymour. <laughs> you had uh, one pass, St Helens. The glass town, of course, as you know. But I tell you what, you've uh, put on a lot of points. 23 points total now. And now Paula again, please. And uh, you start this round, Paula, with nine points. 23 <laughs> as we speak is scored a beat. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Two and a half minutes. 147 is the maximum break in what game? Snooker. Yep. In which film does James Bond, played by Timothy Dalton, for the second time hunt down the drugs baron Franz Sanchez? Pass. Which designer of household ceramics was born in Tunstall in 1899 and was particularly noted for her Art Deco bizarre range that she introduced in the late 1920s? Pass. Which religious and charitable organisation was founded in London's East End in 1865 by the Methodist minister William Booth? Uh, Methodist. Salvation Army. What breed of dog is thought to take its name from the Welsh for dwarf dog? Pass. Which Spanish opera singer joined Placido Domingo and Luciano Pavarotti in the three tenors concerts recorded on the eve of the 1990 World Cup final? Pass. What low-lying island between North and South Uist in the Outer Hebrides has a name that's believed to mean Mountain of the Fords? Uh, pass. What common Latin phrase translates literally as in good faith? Uh, one of days. Yes. Which musician was famously called Judas by a heckler in the audience when he picked up an electric guitar at Manchester's Free Trade Hall in 1966? Bob Dylan. Yes. What word used to describe an undiluted drink, often alcoholic, is derived from a term meaning clean or pure? Neat. Yes. What written work begins on Sunday, the 1st of January, 1660, with the words, Blessed be God, at the end of the last year I was in very good health. Uh, Pilgrim's Progress. Peep's Diary. Which sport is governed by a standard set of rules published by the Marcus of Queensbury in 1867? Boxing. Yes. In human biology, the atlas and the axis form the top two segments of what part of the skeleton? Mm. Skull? Spine. Who completed 27 marathons in 27 days to raise money for sport relief in March 2016? In 2009, he completed 43 marathons in 51 days for the same charity. Oh, Eddie Isard? Yes. The Quirinal Palace is the official residence of the presidents of which European country? Portugal. Italy. Which post-war British Prime Minister presided over the so-called three-day week when the generation of electricity was cut <laughs> to preserve diminishing coal stocks? Ted Heath. Yes. Northern Rhodesia, part of the Federation of Rhodesia and the Asaland, gained independence as which republic in 1964? Malawi. Zambia. What is the name of Bob Ferris's friend, played by James Bolam in The Likely Lads and its sequel? Terry. Yep. Which American vocalist got to number two in the UK charts in 1984 with Ghostbusters? Mm, pass. Well, I can tell you, because right, <laughs> time Ray Parker Jr. And your other passes Ben Beckler, the low lying mm -hmm. island between North and South US. 
Jose or Jose Carreras joined Domingo and Pavarotti. That little dog is the Corgi. Okay. Yeah. The designer of household ceramics, Clarice Cliff, and License to Kill was the Bond film played by Timothy Dalton the second time. You have a total Paula now of 17 points. <laughs> and now let's ask Derek to join us again, please. And you, Derek, start out with 10 points, and the score to beat is still 23. So, here we go. Which European capital is known as the Eternal City? Rome. Yep. Who famously created a tennis umpire's call in a match against Tom Gullickson at Wimbledon in 1981 with You Cannot Be Serious? John McEnroe. Yep. What musical note, sometimes known as a half note, is half as long as a semi-breathe? Semi-quaver. Minim. Which romantic poet married the heiress Anne Isabella Milbank in 1815? Their daughter was the mathematician Ada Lovelace. Shelley. Byron. What New England religious sect gave their name to a late 18th century design of simple functional furniture that influenced modern design? Pass. La Casa Rosada, or the Pink House, is the popular name for the presidential offices and executive mansion of which South American country? Argentina. Yes. What is the name of the froth-like volcanic rock that's so full of holes it can float on water? It's used for cleaning and polishing. Promise. Yep. Which Second World War fighter aircraft was the most famous design of the British engineer R.J. Mitchell? It first flew in 1935, two years before Mitchell's death. Spitfire. Yep. Followers of what religion consider themselves disciples of Guru Nanak and his nine successors? Six. Yep. Grants, Speaks and Thompsons are species of what small, graceful antelope? Pass. Which small European republic is said to be named after its founder, a Christian stonemason who sought refuge from persecution there in the 4th century? Liechtenstein. San Marino. In November 1966, who became the second actor to play the Doctor in Doctor Who? Patrick Trout. Yeah. What seasonal dessert consists of lightly cooked soft fruit, typically raspberries, red currants and black currants, moulded in a bread-lined basin? Eaten mess. Summer pudding. Which orchestral work by Mazorsky was inspired by the Witch's Sabbath in Gogol's story St John's Eve? Right to Spring. Night on the Bear Mountain. Which Liverpool manager said, Some people think football's a matter of life and death. I don't like that attitude. I can assure them it's much more serious Bill than that to Bill Shankly. In which 91 film does Tom Cruise star as an American Navy lawyer who defends two Marines accused of murdering a comrade? All the good men. A few good men. Who was crowned at Schoon Abbey in 1651, ten years before his coronation at Westminster Abbey on St George's Day, 1661? Uh, James I. Charles II. Who set up his first home in Stepney in 1870 after a boy at his school for destitute children took him round the East End and showed him children sleeping on roofs and in gutters? Dr Bernardo. Yes. Which god, whose name comes from the Latin for desire, is the Roman counterpart of the Greek god Eros? Cupid? Yep, Cupid is right. Two passes, the graceful antelopes. Those little antelopes are gazelles. Yeah. And the New England religious set, they uh, did that rather nice furniture. Shakers. Ah, of course. Yep. You have now a total, Derek, of 20 points. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And finally, Judith again. And... Uh, you start out with 14 points, Judith. The score to beat is still 23. So, here we go for a place in the semi-final in the next two and a half minutes. Which Japanese mountain and extinct volcano is traditionally said to have risen in a single night in 286 BC? Mount Fuji. Yes. Which actor came to prominence when he starred in the 1980 film American Gigolo? Uh, John Travolta. Richard Gere. What literary form does Wordsworth describe as the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings? Poetry. Yes. What is the stage name of the Welsh-born singer Gaynor Hopkins, who had a first UK top ten singles hit in 1976 with Lost in France? Pass. The Protestant and Catholic cathedrals in Armagh, Northern Ireland, are both dedicated to which saint? Patrick. Yep. The plot of Gilbert and Sullivan's operetta, The Gondoliers, is concerned with the search for the heir to which fictional country? Ruritania. Barataria. Which island, the southernmost of the Inner Hebrides, is famous for the distinctive peaty flavour of many of its malt whiskies? Isla. Yes. By what name is the tower designed by Norman Foster at 30 St Mary Axe in the City of London, commonly known because of its shape? The gherkin. Yes. What common three-letter word for a close associate or friend comes from the Anglo-Romany for brother? 
Paul? Yep. How many players are in an Olympic beach volleyball team? Six. Two. What is the name of the ballistic missile system carried by the Royal Navy's four Vanguard-class submarines that constitutes the UK's nuclear capability? Trident. Yep. What primitive eel-like parasitic fish related to hagfish was once considered a royal delicacy? Lampreys. Yes. Which future leader of the Liberal Democrats entered Parliament at the 1983 general election as MP for Ross, Cromarty and Skye? He was one of only six members of the SDP to win seats. Charles Kennedy. Yes. What was the name of the long-running quiz show presented by Noel Edmonds on which teams of contestants were tested on their television knowledge? Pass. What is the name of the organisation of Christian businessmen who have placed Bibles in hotel rooms and other places since 1908? Gideon's. Yep. Which English author called his sequence of 12 novels a dance to the music of time after a painting by Nicolas Poussin? The books were published between 1951 and 1975. Anthony Powell. Yep. What name of Greek origin is used for the branch of medicine that deals with the nature and diseases of the skin? Dermatology. Correct. What type of plain song used in the liturgy of the Roman Catholic Church is named after the Pope who was said to have standardised it? Gregorian chant. Yep. What name is given to the events of February 1692 that ended in the murder of nearly 40 members of the MacDonald clan? Uh, the Glencoe Massacre. Yes. In electronics, which semiconductor devices, the active components of microchips, typically have three electrical leads called the emitter, base and collector, or the source, drain and gate? Transistor. Yes, Ooh. I know, <laughs> exactly. Wild guess that, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it was right. <laughs> Two passes. The name of Noel Edmonds' show was Telly Addict. And Bonnie Tyler was the uh, singer who had her first top ten hit with Lost in France. You have now due a total of 29 points and you are the winner. <laughs> Well, no doubt about that victory. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place with 17 points, Paula. Third place, 20 points. Derek, second place, 23 points. Nick, first place with a whopping 29 points. Judith, so she goes through to the semi-finals. <laughs> And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at mastermindquiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>